everybody, welcome to Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. I'm sitting here in the lobby at the hospital and I'm going to try and get my shoutouts done for you guys. So, Dave R, welcome to the neighborhood. Bonnie, and I'm not going to say this right, Bonnie, I am so sorry. Flor Javex. Don't know if I said that right. Most likely I didn't, but correct me. Welcome to the neighborhood. Mel Miller, 0028. Welcome to the neighborhood. Molly Molly. She's from Instagram, and she says she's our number one fan. Welcome to the neighborhood, and thank you for being our number one fan. Lance Lehman. Welcome to the neighborhood. Sarah Ryan, welcome to the neighborhood. Anthony and family are back. Welcome back, guys. We sure as heck missed you. Landon is walking already. Oh my, time has flown. And Beach Lovin' Aussie, so very sorry. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to Beach Lovin' Aussie. Mother-in-law passed away two days ago. Uh, she lost her fight with cancer, her battle with cancer. So thoughts and prayers go out to you. Pyro Nation. Go by and check out his channel, everybody. He's got an awesome YouTube channel. Go by, check him out, and show him some love. Pixie F Pixel Fighters YT. Welcome to the neighborhood. VSG Rebecca, welcome to the neighborhood. And her and her husband are going to be going through weight loss surgery, just like Mel and I are doing. So good luck to you guys, and keep us updated on how your surgery goes. Terry Johnson, happy belated birthday to your father. I just wanted to let you guys know, some of you are sending messages directly to my dad, the lone wolf, and as soon as we get home, I will read all those messages to him, so he will make, I will make sure he hears them all from you guys. Thank you very much. And some of you have asked about sending him some cards and stuff like that. You can go ahead and send them to our P.O. box, and I will forward them to my dad. Okay, my last week's question was, do you eat healthy or non-healthy? Tanya Longley, she eats healthy and non-healthy. She loves her salads in the summer, but she loves chips and cheese doodles. Me too. Is there a happy medium? According to most health specialists, no, there's not. Sorry. Terry Johnson, she starts eating out healthy, and she always seems to fall off that wagon. I don't think it's your fault. I think they grease those seats on those wagons. Maria Cisnero Toth. Since her hubby had his heart attack last September, they're both eating a lot healthier. And he's lost 50 pounds and she's lost 20. It's always nice when you guys can do it together. Oreo family. Depends on the mood. Mostly healthy. Low carb foods. But sometimes she needs that ice cream or something sweet. Everybody needs a little treat every now and then. I say go for it. So with me, I was doing really good eating healthy and sticking to a protein-based diet while I was home, but I've definitely fallen off that wagon since I've been here. Just impossible to eat right when you're at the hospital. It's just not, not possible. Anyway. I don't know how Kevin's been eating. Guys gotta ask him. But my question for this week is, what kind of family games do you play when you're at home with family? Let us know. Kevin, since we are not together, it's time for a neighborhood community credit roll. Take it away, Kevin. All right, guys. So we're all, all us guys are just hanging out here today. Um, we've been eating great, man. Uh, Daryl's been out shooting possum and squirrels and, 
and uh, I sent out Boomer here to bring in some some mice and some birds. Yeah, we're eating fine. Really good. Okay, so last week we had uh, the question was from 1972 Irwin Allen disaster film, The Poseidon Adventure, and the question was what exactly inspired the movie? Now, a lot of people were saying um, Titanic, and it actually was not. It was actually inspired by the Queen Mary. The writer, Paul Gallico, actually was on the Queen Mary um, at, I think it was uh, 68 or 69, when they were hit by a wave and everything went flying around. Um, and, and then he heard a story that in 42, when it, uh, wartime, uh, it was called the Great Ghost, that they were hit by a road wave and that the ship turned almost completely on its side as if they were like five inches away from turning turtle, just like the Poseidon Adventure. So that was the inspiration. In fact, most of the exteriors, uh, I would say probably all the exteriors were actually shot on the Queen Mary uh, uh, in Long Beach because it was it's been there since 1971 and um, they actually used a, a model of the Queen Mary for the, 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 the ship shots, the, the uh, distance shots. So those who got it correct was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, um, The Abyss, Night Jew 882, and Greg Myers. Now, two years later, Erwin Allen did another movie, it was called Towering Inferno, and the same year, uh, Universal Studios put out um, the movie Earthquake in order to capitalize on the disaster film um, craze that was going on. And Earthquake, starring Charlton Heston, was, um, had a, uh, a gimmick in it. It was called Sensor Round. What was Sensor Round? That's the question. Ha ha. Right, Boomy? Okay guys, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Please go by and check out all our other stuff. Thumbs up, and we will see you next week.